All right, folks, <clears throat> I just recorded a little bit of the sound from this uh, uh, little nature clip here of the uh, birds chirping and whatnot. So all I do to add stuff to the game is I go into Blender and uh, which one here is it? Yeah, been a while since I've done anything. So I'll go to video editing here, and I'll just import in that audio. But well, actually, I'll import in the video, rather. So I use my NVIDIA card, and I just hit Alt F9 to capture, um, you know, what's going on. Video capture. I just hit audio. Which they may not have. I don't know, it says record system sounds 30%. I'm not sure. I even use this headphone yet, so I'm not sure that the sound was captured from my desktop. But that's what the idea is. Just rip the sound from the desktop. So, uh, so this is what I'm recording now, is this, this one. So let's drag and drop it in here. Let's check it, make sure. All right, yeah, so it's worth working. Now, when you drop something in here, it tells you how many frames it is. So it's like, you go over here and you just tell it the maximum, like 1,098 frames. And all we're going to be doing is using the audio. So what you'll do is right, render, render audio. And um, I'm just on my desktop, I'm just going to save this as a OGG. Which is uh, codec is Vorbis, is what I use. And uh, just got to name it something, so I'll just call it Birds. Birds 1. Alright, it's done already. It's kind of quick. So let me find that. There it is. See, nothing to it. So the next thing is what level you want to put it in. Um, for me, well, I'm not sure what level is it. Yes, you know, use this level. Level name is PBR. It don't matter what your level is. Just in the art folder, make another folder in there. Just like sounds. I don't think it really matters because you can tell the game where the sound file is located but it's still good that you put the sound in the level because when you share the level if you share it with anyone you want them to have the sound so you need to uh man where did it go I must be blind. I don't see that file. Or I'm losing my mind. Where did the hell it go? I know I just moved the damn thing. Oh, there it is. Like, man, come on. Hey, if it can go wrong, when you make a video, it will go wrong every time. Alright, navigate back to the damn folder of the game. Levels, PBR, art, sounds. Alright, so I'm just going to just move that into there. And load the game. Now, you can do that with any kind of sound. Be it a plane flying by or um, you know, crowds of people cheering, whatever. No matter. Even songs. Um,
Ah, uh, I got two. Sound space are like the reverb effects and stuff, you know, like going in a tunnel or under a wet duck. You know, there's different ones, but we're just doing the sound emitter. You just left click and place it. And then hit escape after you place it, and you'll see its sphere of influence. Which is, a, that's the default. So when you play something, that's how much sound uh, yeah, it'll play in that bubble. Now, the closer you are to the center is, like, this is like the, I guess you would call it like the umbrella of a light. Uh, it's more loud in the green, and, it's a, and it falls off into the, the sound fall off, drops off into the red. I guess you can think of this like anything in the green is like 100% audio, and as it gets between the green and the red to the edge, it kind of uh, falls off, lowers and more. So the file name. Now the maximum distance this should be pretty obvious. That's oh, I'm, I was like, what in the hell am I hearing? The car's on fire. I was like, what is that sound? I don't remember hearing that. All right, so here we go. I didn't record it very loud. It's not really a good sound to really give a demonstration of like. You know, uh, but then you get the idea. You can you can hold shift down, um, make a duplicate. So I just grabbed it and held shift and left clicked and dragged, and made like two or three copies of it. If you wanted to do that. Now the next thing is 3D. If you turn this off, it will not have the red sphere of influence. It'll just play everywhere. Um, I haven't messed with any of this other stuff, this cone, any of that stuff. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really into all that tweaking for like sounds, you know, it's like the most I'll do is add a sound effect. I don't really get into all the other stuff. I don't, I don't need to have all this stuff. So I haven't fooled with any of it. Um, like streaming, source group, I don't mess with any of that stuff. Uh, play on add. I believe is like, yeah, as soon as the level starts, it's playing that sound. Uh, if you want to only play one time, or if you want to loop and keep playing the streaming, I haven't fooled with any of this stuff. I have messed with the volume before and re reduced the volume, but it don't seem like you can go higher than one. But like uh, the airplanes in one of my other levels, uh, now, it may seem like the sound is following the plane, but it's actually not on my Ukraine level. It's just, what I did is I recorded the sound, the plane coming. I increased the volume and decreased the volume, like, as if it was getting closer and going farther away. And it just happens to just sometimes sync up with the plane flying. But how to attach something to something, I don't even know how to do that. That's not something I know how to do.
Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm not sure what all formats are supported. I mean, it doesn't really show you when you click the drop down. It may support MP3. I don't know. I always use the OGG format because that is what I seen the, the developer maps use and things. So that's just what I use. And since Blender can export to it, it just makes it a lot easier uh, to use that. But uh, I think that should get you going. If you have any other questions about putting sounds anywhere, let me know. But that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, that sound can be anything, be a river, whatever. Anything you can find, you can make the sound uh, uh, be your ambient sound. And I don't think there's any limit to how many of these things. I think I got like 15 of them placed throughout my map. So you can double click it in here, I believe. You can't double click it. Uh, you can maybe even name it here. Yeah, you can name it up there, just up there. You can change it in the inspector window. You can change the name of it. And if you also you want, you can like take them all and you can add a new folder. Um, let's see. Put, put in the new group. Just pick them both. Say put into new group. And you can uh, name the sim group by uh, clicking on it down here. It's sounds that way you keep up with them better. Not sure I'm about y'all, but I know me. I ended up having to have all the stuff ends up having. I ended up having to put all the stuff in the different folders because those scene tree gets so long. <laughs> Makes it easier. Just keep things organized. I think that's it for this one. Uh, this wasn't very uh, much to really talk about. Um, but anyway, that's it.